Well, 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 guys, you've just caught me waking up from a nap after my sore, sore loss in the last episode. <sighs> we, uh, we can't win them all, right? Like, I, I, I think I'm making an okay decision by just kind of living with the loss and then moving on. So, the reason for the end of Aberration is I want, like, I, I'm feeling a little bit burnt out on it at the start. It's like I have been in this gloomy little cave system for so long. Aberration is still my, like, one of my favorite arc maps of like out of all of them so believe me when I say I've had a really good time but you know sometimes you just need a break from something and like I'm pretty much done now like I really did give the alpha boss a good go it didn't work out in our favor unfortunately because of a skill issue with me yours truly me over here <laughs> um I don't know how I could have done it on so I honestly don't like I, I honestly don't know if I can do that solo in that method like I don't know it's I've done it before, I just, maybe I was better back then, maybe I'm not, maybe it's harder now, I, I don't know what it is, man, but, anyway, today is the wrap-up session, so we're going to be closing out, I'm going to be moving on, so, providing nothing changes, I'm actually should be jumping on Astraeus, 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 or something, whatever, the, the Greek-inspired map that Necatus brought out, I'm going to give that a go, we're going to have a bit of a play on that, um, we'll see, I'll provide more details on it, you know, obviously, probably either before or after this video comes out, I don't know. You either, you either already know or you don't. <laughs> but yeah, um, look, what I wanted to do is I always do the same thing when I wrap up a video, a series is just take us through what happened, take us through all the things, take us everything we got, and, uh, and yeah, we'll, um, we'll start back over at our humble beginnings. <laughs> um, I'm probably just going to hop between the spots and I'll sh I'll bring you guys back each time but yeah we'll um we'll go now so after a very humbling start on aberration when I ended up really struggling to even get out of the portal area because there was like multiple basilisks and raptors and ravages and everything else um we managed to finally bed down somewhere close to semi amounts of resources not really enough but we had some river rocks around and stuff but uh, we started off here, in this, just in this little gap. Um, it's weird how it shows it over here, but, like, there's a little, like, I think we're basically here. If you were to look at it on the drawing. Um, basically, yeah, right next to that structure. I'm um, leaving that death marker there as a, as a mark of shame, too. But anyway, we built a little thatch hut. <laughs> and we, uh, we managed to throw a bed down. We got ourselves to the metal tier here. Managed to get ourselves a couple of tames. Like, I think we got up to maybe raptors before we moved on. And, um, yeah, it was good. It was, it was a good start. You know, I, I basically kept cowering in here. Um, because out here, every time I stepped out, there was, there was yearlings. There was ravages. There was, the good thing is, though, there was, like, plenty of sheep. Plenty of trilobites and stuff around as well. And that freaking diplo is beautiful. But yeah, there was plenty of stuff around for us to go with anyway. It just took me a while to get my feet. We managed to claim Stego babies, get Paris Ethereums and all that. And then it was time to go eventually. We, we, um, let me just go over here so that guy doesn't annoy me. Yeah, we, we moved on. We decided to put together a caravan. So I, I had everything stocked up on all of my creatures, like the Raptors, the Stego, the Paris Ethereum. And then we went for a journey. So we, we, uh, we went up this side here. And pretty much around, we ended up dropping down next to the river, just below the waterfall. And following it along until I believe it's around, it's either like around here, maybe, that there's a little path or it's around here that there's a little path. But we ended up going there. So that was our next base location. So that's where I'm going to show you next. All right, guys. So we're on to space number two. So it was... Uh, sort of in this area here. It wasn't like way over there or anything. So yeah, this spot right here, I built a little upgraded house next to this giant crystal. This is a really cool spot that I used to build on ASC in. Unfortunately, it's not great for resources, so it wasn't going to be forever here, but we built ourselves a little shack. We tried out the steampunk structures and um, it was, it was a stone structure, I believe. Um, yeah, I don't know, it was a humble little shack. And I tried to be semi-creative one putting the front on and everything, but it was good. I mean, we we got a lot further along here. This is where I managed to get like the Ravages and the Dire Bear. 
Ah, uh, the Dodie, the Roll Rat, I think as well. I think we got all like yeah, all of our like utility teams and the Yankee. The no, the Yankee may have come later. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, we we managed to get a lot here. Bulb Dog, I think as well. We we did a lot. Uh, maybe I even got Cosmo while I was here. I'm pretty sure I did. Little Cosmo, you were beautiful, weren't you? <laughs> oh, I love it sitting on my shoulder. He is just unreal. Or well, she? I'm not actually sure what. Wait. Uh, hang on. She. Sorry, Cosmo. You're a lady, Cosmo. Um. Anyway, so yeah, that was good fun. I mean, that was. We didn't stay here for too long. It was a little while, but. Once I got on my utility teams, I was like, right, we're on to the next base location. So anyway, I might just travel over there now and I'll show you guys where we went next. So we ended up on the edge of the blue zone right here where these couple of death markers are. There's the waterfall. And we basically built on a cliff right there, right where the waterfall is. And it was a gorgeous spot. Now, what I will say is I'm going to show you guys this a little bit more, but I've got creatures I want to show off as well. So... Um, I built this little observatory to look out over the blue zone. I thought this was a really good move to try and, like, show everything off. Because look how beautiful that is. Like, the blue zone is just awesome. One of my favorite things in Aberration. Anyway, so, I might show off my creatures and then we'll show off... No, actually, no, screw it. Let's show off the base. Ignore the creatures sitting around everywhere. So, we built this on a cliff platform here. It was kind of, like, at the top of the cliff, but sort of half into it as well and I built just a round structure all the way around it and then I just divvied up a little bit of it here and built a little room upstairs for us to put a bed in which is you know it's all gone now but I had a bed and stuff it was just like a temporary little house that we could start trying out the structures and you know basically moved as close to the blue zone where all the resources are so yeah we had you know all of our things I've probably still got, uh, basically empty of resources up here. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Anyway. So I built this. Um, this elevator wasn't here at the time. But doesn't really matter. Anyway. Uh, let's just jump down. So the next thing I built on top of that. I'll just take the elevator up. I should have just done it. I should have just cosmoed my way to the correct location, but that's fine. But yeah, the next thing I built, ignoring this little elevator platform on the side here, was the greenhouse. Right here. This thing was a really fun build. I'll see if I can get a good view of it. I'm, although I might just do like one final view outside once we're done, but that's the greenhouse right there. I thought it was really good. Uh, I tried to be a little bit artistic with the pillar coming down and the rails off the sides and the gateways and stuff. But this was how we managed to get ourselves, you know, the plant species Z, fruits, and all of our crops and everything. I uh, eventually got some dung beetles and acatinas. I did manage to get a beehive, even though most people in this game absolutely struggled with that. But I was lucky, I suppose. It actually respawned in the same spot twice. So I got myself enough honey to make a beehive because I've got the... I don't even have to tame a bee. I just collect honey until I've got enough to make it. Uh, thanks to the CS mod, Cyber Structures. That's still what it's called, right? Yeah. Anyway, I had all these creatures sitting in here as well so that they could poop and the dung beetles could eat. The poop and make fertilizer. Oh, yeah, it was a fun build. Um, I thought I stretched myself a bit. You know, the it was a medium platform, I think. Yeah, medium cliff. So, yeah, it was good. Uh, anyway, let me just get on here. We'll uh, deal, elevate elevate down whatever <laughs> uh, to our third build which I might just stop right here we can take a bit of a side look at my monstrosity of a building here so this was my attempt at a steampunk base and I was extremely happy with this uh, hang on let me just go all the way down now so even incorporated this little unnecessary seating garden area off to the side, which I thought looked really good. So basically, it was a large platform. And I built on top of the whole thing with ceilings. And then just went extremely abstract with the shape. And it was a lot of fun, I'm telling you. It really was. So going inside, you can see 
There was these two spots off to the side. Balconies just to sit at. This one had my artifacts that I lost in the last episode. Shut up. <laughs> um, down here, it went into a workshop area. Still pretty empty over here. We had a tinkering desk. We had the forge. You know, all of the things were down here, basically. And this is where I spent most of my time. <laughs> Uh, in here, we had a long hallway. That was actually a secret doorway if I ever wanted to use it. Get out. But this was all of my storage and my things. Uh, we had generator in behind here. Sort of just sectioned off. And over here was like my kitchen. We had the cool preserving bin, fridges. And I'll turn all that off now. We'll save power. That can glow. It's still cool. I uh, will turn that off as well. Um, yeah, I don't know. We had the, like, the lights everywhere as well. I tried to collect all really cool plants, like aberration-y ones, like mushrooms. Large ones from the blue zone. I don't know. I thought it was really cool. Anyway, then stairs come up this way. Onto another sort of balcony and then some stairs. And we're right around here at the moment. Uh, so that led back inside to a little inside lounge seating area. And then across into, like, my study... I guess you would call it. It's a nice little desk sitting here with flowers and stuff on it or overlooking the blue zone where you could work on schematics and as the mad scientist I'm supposed to be, I guess, with this steampunk mod. Uh, also, we had the fireplace. I don't even know if I've got any spark powder left, maybe. Come, come on. I keep clicking the wrong thing. Yeah, whatever. Let's pull that in. Let's light this. So I can sit here a couple of my intros and just kind of hang out near the piano and whatever else. But yeah, I had the library storages here. I thought they looked really awesome with the fireplace and the chairs and everything. And then upstairs we had the final room, which was... Oh, I never actually filled in that wall. I guess I never even noticed. <laughs> this whole time. Good job, Shadow. Uh, I was just like a bed area. I had this little thing here because there is fire coming up from the fireplace and everything, so... Yeah. Anyway, I didn't really come up here at all unless I had to respawn. Man, but that's my, uh, that was my base. I was extremely happy with this. It took a long time to design and a long time to build. Everyone that watched was really happy with it. I got a lot of support and I was really, really thrilled with that. So, I don't know, guys. I always, I really do love the support sometimes. Like, you guys are the reason I do this. <laughs> also, because I enjoy Ark. I can't really forget that part. Uh, but anyway, the next extension, so I snapped another cliff platform to here. And then also just linked it with some ceilings here. Triangle ones, just to link them together. Um, this was my breeding platform. Which I was extremely happy with. I don't know which one I prefer between that and that. Maybe you guys let me know. What did you prefer? The actual base? Or the breeding platform? Because this is a lot more flat in its shape than that. But that was a lot more ambitious, and this one did really come up pretty pretty fancy in the end. Anyway, that's what we're looking at there. I'm really happy. So inside, unfortunately, it did go through the waterfall as well, but I really didn't care. I don't come over that side much. Yeah, inside, I had these little elevated platforms. I uh, ignore these. That was me breeding the rock drakes and getting colors. Um, or the Megalosaurus. I can't remember which one I did that for. One or the other. Um, so I had a little study table... Uh, I had, like, dino ball storage there. Embryo incubator. I really didn't need this. I never used it, but... Still really cool to have lying around. It's a cool thing. Uh, and then the gene storage as well. So that obviously got a lot of usage. I don't have a gene gun on me at the moment, but... Yeah. Um... Yeah, that's all my rock drakes I had from my breeding. All the way up to 20 on health and 20 on stamina. And five mutations that I didn't even end up using. Pretty funnily enough. Oh, anyway, look, um, that is it for the base, I think. So I think what we need to do now, once I zoom in properly, thanks, Shadow, we need to go up and check out the creatures. So let me see if I can actually Cosmo correctly. Uh, uh nope, apparently I can't. Hang on. And, hang on, let me just go down a little bit. And, uh, and... No. Okay. See, I suck at Cosmo, guys. Come on. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Can I... Get up? 
What is happening? What am I doing? Okay, maybe I should have just gone up the right way. I don't know. Alright, whatever. I managed to do it. I got up. <laughs> cool. So, ignoring everything out here, let's start inside, shall we? Because we've got a couple of little special guys in here. These are... Okay, I didn't mean to hit screenshot, but anyway. These are our light pets. We had all four of them and a little helmet on that one, which I loved. This is the in-place bulb dog. So we actually did lose a bulb dog early on. Um, but we managed to get... Uh, I think we managed to get more of them anyway. So then we lost another one. You know, they're quite a boring one, but they are still really cute in an ugly kind of way. We got a glow tail in this green cave. Um, they're really cool. I, I do like them, actually. They're, they're quite interesting, like giant geckos. Uh, Shinehorn, we actually didn't get until quite recently, but I was quite happy what we did. And I gave it a little helmet, and it's... Look at its little tail wagging. It's so happy. And the Featherlight, which, you know, believe it or not, might actually be my favorite, but I don't really use them. So, I don't know. But anyway, they're, this one was really pretty. It had, like, blue on it as well. But I think I don't use them because of this. Like, that charge capacity is trash. Like, after all those levels, 1,400? Like, no. Anyway. Uh, anyway, then we've got the fifth shoulder pet of here, which is Cosmo. This thing got a lot of usage. Not as much as, you know, I should have. I wasn't very good with it. But anyway, it's... <laughs> it's still been really good. It was... It held all my stuff for a long time anyway, and we did use it to do a lot of things. And got me to safety on a number of occasions, even though I'm really bad at using you. It's not your fault, Cosmo. It's mine. It's a skill issue. Um, but anyway, then we got this guy here, the robot dude. I didn't really end up using it. My base is not set up to do it. You need it in very specific spots, but it is cool. It can collect things for you and put them in storage. It can repair your base. It can bring things to you. Yeah. Oh, man, my voice. Um, anyway, onto the creatures. <laughs> so many. I'm not going to go through them in a particular order, but... I guess I'll try. I'll try to. So we did start off really early with, um, I guess what was our first things? It was like, you know, maybe like the Stego and the Raptors and the Parasus. You guys got us out of our first base, which was really good. Oh, I feel like there's a giant gap here. Where's my crab? Why are you over there? Did something attack? Hello? Did I lose anyone else? Oh, obviously a Spino attacked. I never even saw it happen. Alright, let's bring the uh, the Carcanos back. <laughs> Alright, yeah, you were right here. So anyway, yeah, you guys managed to get me out of my first base. So, thank you for your service. Um, you guys were brilliant. Um, then we did manage to get Diabear. So this is Freddy right here, which eventually got its name. This was really good. This thing was a game changer. Um, yeah, I loved it. Really, really versatile. Like, helped me get honey, helped me kill things because it's strong. And yeah, so many good things. Uh, and then we got the Ravages. I don't remember which one's which. That's the start, but we eventually got Yondu, which had like one stamina mutation, I think. Uh, yeah, one mutation. Got this blue color. I named it Yondu because of the color. Um, and it was a Ravager, like, you know, Guide of the Galaxy. I don't know. <laughs> um, then we got our Utility Tames. We got, you know, the Dirty, the Roll Rat, the Yankee at some point. Those guys were brilliant as well. Um, yeah, I reckon those guys got moved around. You guys got attacked by the Spino for sure. Anyway, whatever. Um, we eventually got a Baryonyx as well, but that was while I was trying to tame Megalosaurus. Which I eventually did get, but I think I got the Spino first. That thing was awesome. Um, we got two of them, actually, and we managed to breed up and get Seabreeze. Seabreeze was probably one of the MVPs of the series. So strong. Really good is through. I don't know. That was that was what helped us get a Megalosaurus, anyway. Uh, we did get a Carcanos, I think, around that time as well. This was... Uh, I think it was a max... Uh, no, it wasn't a max level. I think it was a level 100 that I... Uh, managed to get the baby off? No, I, I did tame it, actually. Pretty sure I tamed it, and I screwed it up really bad. So that's a how not to tame a Carcanos video. Um, 
yeah, we got the Yearling as well, I think, around that time, because the Arc Gods had one sitting out there, a level 145 or something. This thing was really good. Um, managed to get us through a little bit. Um, you know, it got us in and out, getting... I don't think it got us Rock Drake eggs. I think I did that a different way, but it managed to get us up onto the surface and got us some initial loot, so really loved this thing. It was actually quite good. It copped a lot of hate from other people, but I really love this thing. Um, anyway, what else? So, yeah, Megalosaurus we did eventually get then. So this isn't uh, Azazel, unfortunately, but still was a stand-in for Azazel, who sacrificed its life down in the Rockwell Arena. <laughs> oh, man. Um, and as well, Rock Drake, we managed to get them. This is a stand-in for Draco, who also sacrificed his life down in the arena. <laughs> uh, they ended up really strong, actually. Like, not strong, sorry. Like, you know, this was the stats before imprint and everything. Still really good. Anyway, Obi Raptor, you helped me steal Rock Drake eggs, so I thank you for your service. Um, you were very good. <laughs> um, then we had a couple more teams. Not many left now, but... We managed to get ourselves a Basilisk. And that thing was really fun. Uh, I didn't really get that much use out of it, but... You know, they're quite strong. If you get that up to like 20k and then... You know, get its health, like, melee up as well. They're really powerful. Um, I did end up with another one that's not ramen as well, but... You know, I never end up really using it. Uh, and then the last piece of the puzzle is the Reaper. Uh, I did the taming really well for that. It actually went off flawlessly, but there was a change. You can't kill babies anymore to get the XP. And I didn't realize, so I screwed it up badly and it lost a shitload of a taming effectiveness and only came out as like a level 120 or 130 or something. As a per And it was like a, like a 145 parent who should have gotten way above that in levels. So, yeah. Anyway, look, like... I think that's all the teams. I don't think I missed anyone. I apologize to any of the teams that I have missed. I have forgotten, but you guys have all been fantastic. So, yeah. Look, guys, look, I do think that is going to be it. That is the end of Aberration. We're moving on to, hopefully, Astraeus, if that's how you say it, or Astraeus. Yeah, it's going to be good fun. Anyway, guys, look, if you did find yourselves enjoying the Aberration series as a whole... I really would appreciate if you can go ahead and hit that like button. It really does help me out, and it also just tells me I've done something right and helps to sleep better at night. Plus, you could always consider subscribing, turning on notifications, or leaving a comment down below. All of that's good to help me out a ton. And of course, if you do want to go that step further, you can become a channel member. It's $1.50 per month and gives you access to exclusive video every Saturday night. Well, look, anyway, guys, as always, I hope you all enjoy whatever it is you're doing in whatever time zone it is, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.